Okay, so what I'd like to do now is show you how we can make this into pseudocode. So I'll just write pseudocode for you. P-S-E-U-D-O code. Okay, so what does pseudo mean in science? It, it, it means resembles. So it resembles code. It resembles a computer program, but it's actually written in normal English. So it could actually be converted into any computer language. Why would you use pseudocode? Well, if you don't like drawing flowcharts, it uh, takes up less room. But it is still a sequence and it's logical. So it still helps you with being able to get the sequence right for your algorithm. So let's put this into pseudocode. All right, so we start with our start and that's capital. And then what we do is we indent from there for the next steps. So the next step is as getting our flavor data. Get flavor data from user. Okay, so next step is to get the flavor data from the user. All right, so we're gonna end up with a choice here, aren't we? So if the flavor is chocolate, we're gonna do this. If the flavor is strawberry, I'm gonna do this. All right, so we need to start with an if statement. So if flavor equals chocolate, now then, so this is an if then statement, then, what do we need to do? If the flavor equals chocolate, then we need to get chocolate. Okay, so we need to get chocolate flavor. Now, if it's not that, then we say else. So if this, then that, else, that means the alternative. So what's the alternative here? If it's not chocolate, then it's gonna be strawberry. So if it's not chocolate, else get strawberry flavor. Okay, so that's the language that we use here um, when we've got a choice. So if the flavor equals chocolate, then get chocolate. So we don't then say if the flavor equals strawberry, then get strawberry, because it's if it's not that, then you do this. So if then, else do this. Okay, so we have done this step, this step, this, and this. Now we need to just finalize it. Put flavor in shaker and make milkshake. Okay, so it's compressed compared with this. So that's one of the, excuse me, that's one of the benefits of it is that it takes up less room. It's probably a bit quicker to do as well because you don't need to do the boxes. Basically, we're just removing the boxes. It's, it's the same sequence uh, and a few things are slightly different. We use the if then else statements as well, which is gonna be important for us later as well. So that's pseudocode.